Hi guys, we're back. All right, so our timer went off and now we can take a look at our DNA. So here's something that's important and we talked about this a lot with the scientific method. We talked about how sometimes things don't go right and sometimes there's errors. And this actually worked out well because each of us got a different type of result. We got a different amount of DNA. The fruits were all different. The procedure was the same. The individuals who did it were different. So there's lots of different things that could have happened. And if we did it again, we might get uh, different results in terms of how much uh, DNA we got from each one, but we did get DNA. So I'm gonna start, actually, I'm gonna start with the strawberry. This is the strawberry. And wait, where's my camera? If you look really carefully, really carefully, and I can't even hold my hand still. Do you see that fuzzy ring of stuff right there? That is DNA. Maybe it, there you go. Can you see that? That fuzzy ring of stuff? That is DNA. It's not necessarily, maybe you can see it. Oh, you can see it there too? See that right there? Oh, I can't hold it still. That is DNA. Yes. So we got a little bit of strawberry DNA. Then we're going to go to the banana. If you can see the banana, hold it still again. Oh, I'll lean it right there. That chunk that's right there, that's the banana DNA. I don't know if I lean it. Oh, there you can see it. There you can see it. It's a wiggly chunk. It looks like a little bit of snot, right? That is the <laughs> banana DNA. And I sadly in my Kiwi did not get any DNA to separate out. Again, sometimes that happens. If we were to get a lot of DNA out at one time, guys, it would truly look like I went and snot rocketed right into my hand. That's what it looks like. And if we had enough, we could maybe even pull it, pull it out of the test tube so that we could hold it. This time, we just happen to not have enough. But the end result is all of these things have DNA. We were able to extract the DNA from at least two of them. One of them, if I was to do Kiwi again, maybe I'd get it to work that time. But the DNA does become visible. And with the steps that we used, we can remove DNA almost from anything that we wanted to try, provided it was living, it had a nucleus, and it has DNA. Okay? So we hope you enjoyed our fun little um, surprise demo. And you are going to do a follow-up now where you're going to use any and all notes that you took um, to help you out um, with this. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys. Bye. <laughs>